Hey everybody, welcome in that new golem tutorial about how to import your golem characters within Unreal to use them with the golem cache replay or within the golem engine. So here I'm uh, running golem uh, 7.3.8 and I'm having a, a Maya character. Uh, this is actually a character from uh, the character pack which I have already previously exported. So I define the skeleton and uh, the geometry so it's usable to create a simulation. Um, you may already know that uh, when you create a golem character you need to store its uh, geometry, skinning uh, and uh, you know all the meshes information into a specific file format. Okay so here I already exported the character as a GCG and this is what I want to use uh, within Unreal. So let's uh, go within Unreal and uh, let's uh, say we want to uh, import the characters. Importing the characters first is important because this is what is going to be used uh, by the Golem Cache Replay node or by the Golem Simulation nodes uh, to, you know, scatter the characters and uh, snap them around and animate those characters. So first, we need to import uh, that character with an Unreal so it can be figured by the different node uh, whenever you're going to need them. So if I want to import my golem character, uh, I can go into where is my character file stored. So here I'm using the casualman underscore light gcha. And um, I want to import this with an Unreal. So what I can do is just uh, either drag and drop it or use the import, import button here. So into the relative folder I want to import my characters in. And I can select the gcha and import it. When you do this, it's going to locate the GCG file, so the geometry file, which is listed under that uh, golem character file, and it's going to prompt you with a uniform scale you want to import from. So this parameter is really important to set correctly, else you may have some flickers uh, within your Unreal viewport if it's not set properly. So uh, let's just uh, provide a quick word about this. So if we pay attention to that character within Maya, um, so this is the default grid here, and you can see that character is approximately 1.8 grid unit. So that means here that the unit I'm using is meters. So that character consider it's a meter unit. So it means that here I consider that a grid is one meter square. So if I import that character, uh, within Unreal and I don't change anything about it, uh, it will mean that that character here will be pretty pretty um, um, small in terms of size. Unreal uh, considers by default that one grid unit here is one centimeter. So let's uh, specify this with a one and import uh, and maybe uh, bring that characters within the scene. Uh, we do not even see it. So it's here. So you can see it's super, super small. And uh, once you're going to use the golem cache node to, you know, instance that character and animate it, it will be corrected, uh, the size of the character. But at the end, it will, it will result in a lot of flickers because the bounding box and plenty of different data for visibility will not be computed properly. So this is not exactly what we need. So uh, let's remove those force delete uh, and I could also remove the materials but uh, whenever I'm going to recreate it it's going to recreate them so I can just skip that part for now so um, within Unreal my character are going to be into centimeters and within Maya uh, they're made as a meter so we're going to consider that this is going to be a meter so there's a different of unit here so it means that if we want our character to be uh, the right size within Unreal we need to scale it so let's re-import that file again and uh, create it. And now the uniform scale we want to apply to that character is 100 because we've seen here that the, the unit we considered within Maya are going to be considered as centimeters. So if we want to have the right size of the character, we need to scale it at 100. And that will be the right value. And let's instance that character now in the scene. And now you can see it has a proper size if we consider that you know, this is a 10 meter per 10 meter square. So um, we're good. Um, I'm going to skip that material part. You, you may notice that 
uh, those parts come as uh, black when you import them as a GCG. The reason for that is the GCG file does not store anything about uh, material information. It just stores the name of those. So you'll have to, um, you know, relocate those files yourself and, uh, you know, remap those textures yourself if you want to be able to use those materials. Um, I guess most people have their own tool to redo this. Uh, so I'll let you figure what's the best way for you. We also have a video which details how you can play with um, uh, visual diversity on your characters. You'll still be able to have different variations of, of textures of your characters. Okay, um, let's see maybe another part here. So you may notice also, which is super important as well, is that uh, the name of the character corresponds to the name of the character file which has been loaded. Uh, so here it's named casual mine underscore light and that's the data we're going to use when you're going to create a golem cache node or a golem simulation nodes to remap those characters so make sure that they have the right name um, so hope that makes sense there's another video which shows you how to you know create and replay a cache within unreal and there's also another video which shows you how to make diversity so please refer to those other videos there so um, take care, stay safe, and uh, see you in the next video.